video I'm going to show you guys how to install any app sideload any app on your iDevices with Xcode now I have um, alt server but for some reason it's giving me some issues I'm, and I've been trying to investigate that problem for quite a while um, but still it doesn't work um, so my only option left to do is try side loading with Xcode and I did that today and it worked so I'd like to share it with you guys so of course um, ensure that you have Xcode installed you also need iOS app signer which I have already downloaded um, so now first of all we're going to be working with Xcode and um, of course have your IP on standby so as you can see here uh, those are the previous um, apps which I worked on um, so right now as you can see we have Xcode open we are going to head over to Xcode right here and um, we're going to select preferences so we're going to head over to file and we're going to head over to new and you're going to select project all right, so now you're going to select this option here, single view app, and um, you're going to select next. Um, right here is um, where you're going to put in the product name or app name, and uh, organizer, and as well as identifier, language, and whatever other information here. But before we continue, this is very important um, with your organization and team right there, as you can see, it's loading. Um, you have to ensure that you go to settings and add an account. So head over to Xcode right up here and select preferences. All right, now in preferences, you go over to accounts. And as you can see, I have my account here already. So if you don't have an account there, you're going to just select add and you're going to add your Apple ID, right? And um, that's basically it. Um, so with that being done you can now continue and you'd be able to select your account so the team would be right here personal and you're going to put in the apps name so in my case that would be Spotify I'm going to put in Spotify um, right here like this and um, you're going to put in the organization identifier also known as the bundle identifier um, that can be any name so you can put com dot your name I'm just going to put John for the sake of the video and um, you're going to put dot sorry dot uh, spotify right and that's basically it right there and you're going to select objective c and as default right here now you're going to select next and um, you're going to save the project to a uh, certain folder i'm going to save it in documents right here i'm going to create a new folder for this uh, specific project all right i'm not going to put any special name i'm just going to do that and i'm going to select create so it should be saving the files right now All right, and here is your information right here. And as you can see, uh, status of here right now, what it's doing is basically preparing a certificate for you, and um, it's going to sign that certificate. As you can see over here on this tab, just leave everything as default. As you can see, signed to my Apple ID right here, and that's basically it. So now, what you're going to do is open up iOS App Signer right here so I have it downloaded so I'm going to select it and it's going to open up so you can keep um, Xcode open uh, we'll be going back to it soon um, so now what you're going to do is select your file um, it can be a URL to a direct path um, to the IPA or if you have it downloaded which is what I would recommend so let's select browse and um, you would be able to select your IPA file okay so in downloads I have Spotify++ right here so I'm going to select it and um, as you can see sign in certificate um, this is my Apple ID right here so select that and resign re provisioning profile um, you're going to select the name of your project right here 
um, this is very important so this is what the provisioning would be um, com.john.spotify so the, the one that matches your provisioning profile so you're going to select that and now you're going to select um, some other information right here um, you could choose whatever if you'd like to change this but leave it as default um, display name you can put Spotify right here version you can leave these two as defaults and now you're going to click on start All right and um, as to where you'd like to save it I'm going to save mine in desktop um, I created a special folder right here um, in desktop here it is so I'm going to save it in that folder and um, it's going to say extract in IPA file it's going to start working with the signing of that for you Alright, so the process has been complete so you can now close iOS app signer and to verify that it is complete you can open up your folder and you would see the output file right there so now what you're going to do is we're going back to Xcode and you're going to go over to window and you're going to select devices and simulator right there um, that may vary by whatever version of Xcode that you have but you need to get to this point right here so as you can see my iPhone right now is connected and um, you're going to select add and I'll be showing you the process as well when it um, gets installed onto the phone you're going to select your, your output sorry you're going to select this right here and um, you're going to so ensure that it is the output file the file that has been output by iOS app signer so you're going, not the original one but the one that has been output by iOS app signer so you're going to select open right here to select the file and it is now installing on the iPhone so let me show you the process so it should show up on the phone anytime soon um, as you can see it says that the phone is busy um, for you that may not be the case but as you can see right here it show up on my phone all right so it's done as you can see here is the app over here and on my screen again you can see that the app has been installed now it won't open up immediately because you have to trust the developer so let's go over to settings And we're going to go over to general and there you're going to go to profiles, profiles and device management so you're going to select that and trust the Apple ID of the developer so that's done and now you should be able to open the side loaded app right so as you can see it has been opened and you can feel free to use your app so this is basically how this is done Alright guys, so thank you very much for watching. I trust that this worked out for you. If it did, be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, show your support, and share the video with others. With that, we've come to the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in another one.